and gentlemen, what is going on? This is Jacob and Joe here from JC Tech Spot. Yo, what is up? So I'm um, actually, you know, really, really excited to make this video. There actually has been a solution to jailbreaking. Recently, Pengu and PP teamed up and blessed us with a new iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. Right here, we're just going to take a look at proof right here. Just to show you guys, we are running the newest 9.3.3. This is huge. It has been such a long time for jailbreaking, you know, especially those that are had know about jailbreaking. Since a jailbreak for the most updated software has been released, um, I'm actually using an iPhone 5S right here. Fresh. Um, yeah, iOS 9 has been uh, very annoying to jailbreak, uh, but there has finally been a very easy and good way to jailbreak. Because, so you know, show it to you here. this jailbreak can be done without a computer. As you know, most jailbreaks in the past have required a PC or something like that. Like that. Well, this jailbreak you can actually do all from your device using one uh, website. Um, you know, iOS 9.0.2 and 9.0.1 has been jailbroken. 9.2.1 was jailbroken, but, you know, nothing past then. And we've been waiting since, you know, pretty much Christmas of this year for a jailbreak to be, re uh, of last year, sorry, to, for a jailbreak to be released. But there finally has been a newly updated jailbreak. So as you can see, I am not jailbroken. I do not have Cydia at all installed on my device. In case you uncheck, you know, we can go ahead and look spotlight. There's no Cydia. Settings. This is a pretty much, yeah, it's factory settings iPhone 5S. Um, and quick note, important notice is that this is all, it can only be done on 64-bit devices. So pretty much any phone, uh, you know, above the iPhone 5S and any iPad, including the um, iPad mini 3, iPad mini 4, and iPad Pro 12-inch. So let's go ahead and uh, get right started. So first thing you're going to want to do is, um, you know, go into Safari. You're going to want to go into your second page or, the, you know, the last page of your home screen. And I'll explain why in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and open up Safari. It has to be Safari. And you're going to go ahead and navigate to this website, as you can see right here, jailbreakme9.com. Link will be in the description for those of you that are using the YouTube app. And you're going to go ahead and scroll down just a little bit and still see the Download Now button. So what the Download Now button will do is it'll install the PP Jailbreak application onto your device. Now, when you install it, it has not been signed, but basically you can sign it yourself as long as you turn on airplane mode after it is finished loading. So when you hit Download Now, it'll prompt the, uh, the download. You're going to go ahead and OK. Go to your home screen immediately. And basically, it'll say loading. The app will say loading. But as soon as it says installing, you're going to want to go ahead and go into your control center, flip to airplane mode. You have to be very, very quick. So, you know, it's a, it's a very tough process. If you don't get it the first time, we can try again. But we're going to go ahead and try right now. So just go ahead and hit download now. Wait for the prompt. It's going to ask you. Just go ahead and press install. Go to your home screen. And then you're going to wait. Hit dismiss. Scroll up from there. Wait till it says installing. Once it says installing, flip into airplane mode. And it will quick. finish the installation. Yeah, as Joe said, got to be very quick. So now that the app has been installed, I don't know if we were quick enough. We might have been. As you know, in iOS 9, you can't trust from there. You pretty much have to go into settings. So you're going to hit cancel. Go ahead and uh, scroll up there and turn off your play mode because you need to be connected to a internet network in order to trust the application. Go into our profiles uh, under general. Go ahead and device management. Uh, click on Enterprise app and hit Trust. It's going to be a Beijing, Hong Kong, something like that. So the app is not verified yet. You're going to hit Trust. It will verify the application. And it then will allow you to actually open the application on your device. So go ahead and go back to the application. As you can see, you can now open the PP Jailbreak app. So it'll look like this. Now you get to the screen. You want to make sure you hit OK to notifications. This is really important to installing Cydia. You're going to want to hit OK. And so now you're on this screen. So. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see, but there is a little box right there that is checked. So basically that is installing the PP app instead of Cydia. You're going to want to go ahead and uncheck that box. Make sure there's no check mark in the box right there. And come on, taking a couple shots. Let me try it with my other finger just to be a little more precise. There we go. So the box has been unchecked. I don't know if you can really see it. It's really hard to see. And so now you can see there's a big circle in the middle, and you're probably assuming, well, that's what we're going to press. I know this does look a little shady because it's all in Chinese, but essentially it's just connecting to the servers. Yeah, and remember, every time you do airplane mode, really, you got to be very quick with this. Chinese servers, it's all in Chinese. It's so all it's in tough. China. It is tough to do, but so you can do it. Can now, just about 20 seconds after you've opened the app, you want to go ahead and press the circle, and then wait about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go ahead and put your device to sleep. So just lock the screen and wait a couple seconds. Your device should... Uh, Dang it, we messed up. Okay, so that time, clearly, uh, it, it didn't show me any notifications. So that's good. This is just an example of a time where it does not work. The jailbreak is not successful, probably because the app did not have the right certificate. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try one more time. 
So this is what should happen. It will immediately respring if either you wait too long or you lock your device too quickly or something like that. It shouldn't be too precise or you don't get airplane mode in time. So clearly um, it wasn't given proper permissions to go into my device. Uh, see, as you can see, Cydia has not been installed yet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uninstall this app. And we're just going to try one more time. So we're going to go right back into Safari and open up the same website, jailbreakme9.com. So if something was wrong. I mean, your steps pretty much got to be pretty, pretty on point. Yeah, you got to be quick with airplane mode. You got to be quick with everything. And you got to be very precise in your counting. And just if you don't get it the first time, just try again like we're doing right here. So we're just going to go download now. Once again, we'll prompt the installation. Go to the home screen. And um, actually, sometimes if it doesn't show up immediately, the install will actually fail. So you can see it'll probably say could not be installed at this time. You're going to go ahead and hit done and just go right back to the website and try again. As you can see, just like this, hit done. That's, a ve that's a very normal. You just go right back and try again. Install. Go to your home screen. As you can see, it's loading. Wait for it to say installing. Then go ahead and put on that airplane mode. We might have had it. I doubt it. I honestly don't think so. I think we might have to try for a third time. Hey, we will do. Hey, many this is just it takes for you guys. Yeah, pretty much. This is just you know a perfect explanation of exactly how this can be tough and how everything's got to be perfect. Unable to verify because that's what happens if you try to verify without uh, when you're not in when you're not in uh, with the connection. So go ahead, try again. Verify. There you go. It's verified because we had a connection that time. Go ahead. Why not? Just go ahead. Try. Okay, notifications, uncheck the box, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead, click the circle, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lock up the device. So we're going to see it. There we go. So as you can see, the storage almost full notification that is perfectly normal. That's supposed to happen. And then the city notification, as you can see, that's everything it's supposed to be doing. It might take a minute or two. You just kind of got to wait. Your device will be unresponsive. So then you're just going to kind of wait for it to respring. And if it doesn't respring immediately, you can pretty much just hold down. Uh, sometimes you can hold down the home button or press the home button or something. We're going to try to go and open our lock screen. It still works, but you, you know, it's clearly it's showing the notifications that it is installing everything. So as you can see, there we go. Our device is respringing. Yeah, just uh, make sure to wait for it to do it on its own, and if it doesn't, then you know you just kind of do that. So we're gonna slide to unlock. We're gonna open up and please have Cydia on our. Come on. Eh. What is wrong with her? My fingers. See, something's wrong with my fingers. And as you can see, Cydia has successfully been installed on our device. And to go ahead and verify, we are still running the same iOS version. iOS 9.3.3 is the same device, but it is now jailbroken. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up Cydia to prove that it is the real thing. This is no joke. Um, absolutely everything done from the device um, right there. So, you know, everything just has to be perfect. And a lot of people may try a couple times with the PB jailbreak app and it will not work for them. And you'll say, you know, this is fake. This does not work. You're just kidding. This is an already jailbroken device. We expect that. So, you know, if you want to hate, you can. But, you know, just know that everything has to pretty much be right. And let's try to actually go ahead and install a tweak. So we're going to go ahead and install Cylinder. Just to show you guys that this works, go ahead, cylinder, hit install. Um, a really, really cool free tweak. Wait for everything to go through. Still iOS 9.3.3. It has installed cylinder. For those of you that don't know, cylinder is the tweak that allows you to basically change the transitions. I was showing Joe earlier. A lot of cool stuff to do for free, so go ahead and restart the springboard. And, you know, another note that I forgot to mention, this is a semi-tethered jailbreak still. Um, you know, there's still no solution to the uh, untethered jailbreak, so be sure not to reboot your device completely, or you will lose the jailbreak tweaks, but that is, it is pretty easy to reinstall the jailbreak, just do the same thing with the PP jailbreak application. Yeah, and it, going to this Apple screen right here is pretty normal. Uh, everything so far is normal. Um, remember, if you don't get it the first time, do it Just try again. Times. As you can see, our transition cylinder has successfully been installed and it should show up in our settings. Let's go ahead and check that out. Make sure everything is working smoothly. So most of these tweaks should work. It should not put your device in jeopardy. See cylinder. We're going to go ahead and try something different. You know, maybe the alternate spin. Why not? So uh, just a really neat, really neat. The fact that this has been put in there. You go. You can see everything working perfectly. 
So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we do really appreciate, you know, all of your guys' support. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more jailbreak updates, uh, more city updates, all of that. So thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day, guys. See you guys later. And bye.